Angie in real life. Live, live. Angie in real life with one L. Live, live. I am your hope dealer and your pr Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi guys, welcome back to Angie in real life, guys. And we are gonna do coffee and confessions. Yes, guys. If you guys watch me every day, you know I either have a cup of coffee or um, some tea. So today I want to show you guys how to make the perfect cup of coffee according to what I think is the perfect cup of coffee. So what you would need is you would need some coffee and here I'm using uh, Folgers 100% Colombian Rose. This is the medium. My dad and my mom use this so this will turn me into this. You will also need a creamer. Um, my favorite is French vanilla, but I've been trying uh, different creamers. So this time, I decided to try a white chocolate mocha. Never tried it before, so this is my first time. Um, well, I've had it, but this is my first time actually purchasing it. It says, live and love eat the mocha. <laughs> so, um, I between this and my vanilla, I like my vanilla better. I use this because I don't use any sugar. I just use cream and I use coffee. So what I have here, my coffee pot is a five cup coffee pot. I can make, um, I can actually use my pot and make it a whole pot or I can do just what I'm doing now and brew only a cup because all I can drink is a cup and honey coffee is too much to be wasting. So anywho, so what I do is I literally take um, this measuring is a half of a tablespoon. A half a tablespoon. So I put three of these in here. Make sure my, make sure your filter is in. So I do one, one, two. three half tablespoons, which equals one and a half tablespoon. So one and a half tablespoon. I just leave this in here because this is one of the least tablespoons that I, the a measuring cup that I use. So I just put it in there. So you got one and a half um, tablespoons, and then you want one cup of water. Just one cup of water. Okay, so we need, as we put in here already, we did, uh, a tablespoon and a half of coffee. Then to make an equal cup, you want one cup of water. Pool and Springs, the bomb. One of my favorite waters. But my favorite, favorite is cooler. So you don't have to use bottled water, I just do. You take one cup of water and the measurement is on this side of my coffee bar right here. But this is two, three, four, and five. But I only want one cup. If I want to make an iced coffee, I'll do more. So then you pour. You pour in your one cup. Your coffee is already in. You close it and you push power. So while the coffee is brewing, we are going to do a confession. My confession is, guys, I did not learn how to make coffee until I was 40 years old, literally. I am 42 years old, and I learned how to make coffee at the age of four zero. Yes, 40 years old. Your girl did not know how to make coffee until... Yes, I was four zero. I did not learn how to make coffee until I was 40 years old. And as you can see, the coffee is brewing. Yes, um, I used to drink coffee a long time ago. Like when I was partying out in the world, I would drink coffee because people would say that it would help with your hangovers. So, hey, I had to be to work at 6 a.m. in the morning. So I would drink coffee that early in the morning. But then it wasn't until I got a job overnight. And working in the medical field and working a job overnight, y'all, it can get very hectic. It can be some long, sleepless, tireless, sleepful nights. But anyway, I met this nurse, and let me tell you how he made the bomb coffee. 
next to my dad. My dad made the best cup of coffee ever. And really, that's really how I started drinking it. But I didn't learn how to make it until I was 40 years old. So look, I don't want you guys to go 40 years not knowing how to make a cup of coffee. A perfect cup of coffee, according to what I think is the perfect cup of coffee. But anyway, anybody can still make this one cup of coffee. And I would say if you're going to add more uh, cups, then increase your tablespoons. For example, if you're doing um, one and a half tablespoons for one cup, I would say use two tablespoons and a half for three cups or six cups. Just double it as you go. But anyway, guys, as you can hear, it's percolating. It's almost done. A one hitter quitter. And as far as the creamer, I don't use sugar. So I only use cream. I'm a creamer, I'm a creamer. <laughs> so as you can see, it is finishing up. Some people drink coffee without creamer, but I love me some cream. You, you may want to say I have a cup of cream with coffee added. But I'm excited to be able to share with you guys how to make a cup of coffee. Because like I said, I didn't know how to make coffee until I was 40. Come on now. And my favorite coffee to buy uh, is Wawa. I love Wawa coffee and then I will go run Royal Farms. I, even though their slogan says the world runs on Dunkin', Dunkin', no. I don't like Dunkin' Donut coffee but I do like their um, vanilla chai. I do like their vanilla chai but Wawa's Royal Farms, if you guys haven't tried Wawa coffee, go. But why? When you can make yours at home for a fraction of the cost. Come on. So there you have it. Coffee is brewed. Turn it off. Yes. That is a cup of coffee. And you can see that it's not really dark. And then we're going to add. I usually add creamer to my liking. I try to do the conservative thing. And watch the calorie type thing. And the sugars. But I usually go one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. Yes. I measure my creamer. What? I do. So I measure two tablespoons. I stir it up. As you can see, the color has changed. And then I taste it. Let me see. Ah, oh, y'all, that is good. Oh, I need one more tablespoon. So generally, I go with three. So it's one cup of coffee to three tablespoons of creamer. That is how I like it. And y'all, let me taste it. And I'm going to tell you if this is perfect. Yes. That is perfect. Not too much coffee. Not too much cream. Not too much sugar. The bomb. And there you have it, guys. Angie in real life's how to make the perfect cup of coffee. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do you have a coffee confession? Do you have a coffee fetish? But that is my confession, guys. Didn't learn how to make coffee until I was 40 years old. This is officially my first coffee pot ever. This is the first coffee pot that I had ever purchased in my life at the ripe age of 40. <laughs> Y'all, some may call it a light bloomer, but I would say, hey, I learned how to do coffee and confessions just in the nick of time. Don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell anyone, everyone you know about what's going on in the world with your girl, Angie, in real life. And don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so each and every time that I post a video or go live, you guys will always be in and out. Until next time. Coffee, anyone? Angie in real life. life, life. Angie in real life with one L. Life, life. I am your hope dealer and your